put that into perspective for us because you, you have said you, you, it could be quite an emotional moment as you got it this year for many reasons. So, can you sum up your feelings or what you've achieved there? Yeah, it's big. It's big. Come on. Um, if somebody would have told me weeks ago, five, six, eight, ten weeks ago, we can finish this season at third, it was absolutely out of reach. It, was, it felt impossible. Um, even the good thing is this year, when it happened, that they didn't feel too good very often because too many things around happened. Uh, that, that, come on, the, the, the injuries was a was a, a subject we followed us through the whole year, and that was really tough to take. Just as an example, we we we, we went three at Burnley, happy camp, everything fine. Uh, we go home, and Reese Williams um, have to need to have a scan because he has hamstring. Didn't train three days, but can play today. So that was uh, the lucky moment. But nobody knew that until a few hours before the game. So. Today they both get a cut <laughs> and everything looks like okay, Bonnie Love, but they go for them and all these kind of things. So we had to fight through and the boys did that. So what the, let's talk about them, how they played as absolutely incredible. The steps they made this year, they should be really very proud of because it's absolutely um different level now. I have to say that's really that's really nice to be part of that and for the whole team. Um Fighting through this and 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 finishing here is the best lesson on third. It's the best lesson you can you can learn for life. I couldn't be more happy that I'm that I was around when that happened again. Uh, from nowhere to the Champions League in five weeks, that's a massive achievement. And so, see, I, and so do I see it, and um, um, and I think that's right. Okay, thank you, Chris. We'll go to Carl Mark and then Dave Maddock, and that's it for the hands up, Carl. Hi, Jürgen. Um, Hi, you said some some nice words about Genie uh, in the program, and it looks like he's yeah on, on his way. I just wanted you to say you can you can talk to us about the journey he's had with you at the club and his influence, and and how difficult he will be to you know to replace. Oh yeah, uh, so, where can I start? So uh, I met this wonderful player the first time. So I saw him. We played obviously against him, and I met him first time in my in my. In my Living room at home because um, we had to. I had to see him and talk to him. From the first moment, it clicked between us. He's a very, very friendly, very smart, very open person, um, and that never changed. That just improved since then. Yes, it's very emotional for me uh, because I lose a friend and will will miss him. That's how it is. Um, but it's normal in football that these kind of things happen. Not always nice, but normal. Um, and I'm really sure that he will find a great place for him. And each club who is interested in him should, if you call me and ask about him, then you will take him definitely. Because I couldn't be more positive about what he did here. It's incredible. He was not only always available, he, he played the 90% of time really, really good. People might not know exactly um, what I mean with good because sometimes it's not that spectacular, sometimes it's that. But from the young kid who was offensive 10 to a winger at Newcastle come here and being such a controlling mid, becoming such a controlling midfielder, that's a massive step. And you only can do that when you understood the game really in the right way. And he did that. He scored incredibly important goals. Barcelona, um, I think... Cardiff was very, very important. Middlesbrough was very important. So, so many top, top class performances. Um, I would mix it a lot. I would mix it up easily when I have to talk about that more in detail. So, and now it looks like the time is over, but everything will be fine, and nobody can take our memories from us, and they will, we will share them forever. And that's really great. I told him that after the game, he sees it the same way, and it's. Goodbye would not be tough, then the time you had together was not worth it. So it's really tough because we had a great time together. Okay, fantastic. Thanks, guys. We're going to go to Dave Maddock, then Joe Prince Wright, and then I think, unless, um, yeah, that's it. Dave Maddock followed by Joe, then we'll go to uh, Jurgen. As you said, it, it just seems so impossible that you could finish, um, not only finish third, never mind top four. You've actually finished third. And I, I just wonder, you know, where does that rank above the achievements of, of yourself and this side? Because it, it, it is it is remarkable given the, the odds that you 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 had against you to, to finish third this season. It ranks in the third position. <laughs> I don't know, who cares? It's great. 
It's absolutely great. It's outstanding. It's it as to tell you that this season, and that's always you can from outside you cannot really understand because we are just Liverpool. We have to perform. We have to win. We have to to become champion, whatever. That was not possible for us this year. So you have to fight through, and you have to in the in the in the in the harder moments. You can learn the most in the harder moments. You can show the most, you, you, and you can, and we 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 really we stuck together all the time. There was not no no argument or whatever about different things. We just knew some things are tough. Do we have we have to improve? That's true. We have to. But football is a game with is based on confidence, and we did, had not a lot of opportunities to gain confidence. We were constantly sorting problems, um, and that's so nice to see that we could use the last 10, I don't know, five, six, seven weeks um, to give this season a proper turnaround. And I'm really happy for the Champions League that they don't have to play without us so that we can, <laughs> that we are in it. That will be great. Can't wait for that. But um, outstanding achievement from the boys. So Man City is rightly so. Um, won the league. Great season. Congratulations again. But... Um, because we cannot be champion, that doesn't mean we have we have no targets. And the target was then from a specific point international football. And that's not Champions League. That's really good. Okay, just before we go to Joe, uh, this is gonna be the last question for Jürgen. If people who want to ask a question to Roy Hodgson want to put the hand up, I can add you to the panel. And that includes if you are already in the panel. Um, just before we go to Joe, because it will help Palace out. So if you want to ask a question to Roy Hodgson, if you want to put your hands up, I'll add you to the panel now for when Joe comes in with Mr. Hodgson. But the last question from Joseph. Hi Jürgen. Uh Congratulations. You said before the game, Liverpool's an emotional club, emotional set of players. Can you try and sum up the emotions of everything that's gone on over the last 12 months? And to get to this point, what does it say about your team and your club in the bigger picture that your team never, ever gave up? I, know I cannot sum it up. That's happened too much, to be honest. But um, to have the opportunity to do this, to have this last game in, in front of 10,000 people um, means really the world to us. And I have to say, don't want to blame the other 45,000. They are usually in here, but um, the 10,000 did a really good job today. When we came out, it felt like, oh, sold out. Um, so that was absolutely incredible. It is so nice to to have this experience again together. Everything is better when the people are in the stadium and we are better when the people are in the stadium. That's how it is. We can fight more when people are in the stadium because they, they support us, they give us a boost, they, they they help us. And that's really, that we did it without them makes the achievement even bigger, <laughs> to be honest. But I don't want to try it a second time, if I'm 100% honest. Terrific. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Uh, that was the last press conference, yes, right? Yes, number 718. Thank you very much. <laughs> I can wait actually to see you again, but I wish you anyway a great summer. Thank you for everything. Um, and yeah, take care.